just about buried it. Common sense kicked in and said, don't you dare go any further. You best be backing out. And that's what I did. Got this all done as much as I feel comfortable doing a let somebody else do that over there. Cause that's getting kind of soft and I don't really feel like getting this thing buried. It was bad enough. I got stuck how I did, and um, it's just, well, I'm not going to push it. And there's the last of the first cutting. I know the wagons aren't put in here to the world's greatest, but at least they're under a roof. Thing. It's gonna be a hard day, so we might as well make sure we have all kind of fuel on board. You son of a bitch! You dirty rotten thing! You just walked out of here as soon as I opened that gate. Come on. You must have had this planned all along, didn't you? Come on. Oh my god. No. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. No. There ain't nothing back here for you to get after. Come on. Oh shit. Come on. Go back in that pasture where you belong. Let's go. I don't know why you got out anyhow. I swear, as soon as I went through the gate, she walked right on out. Come on. Don't be dumb. Oh, you fucker. Damn it. So what I had to do was, um, I had to, uh, put the 7810 in front of the bunk right there to kind of block that off. And then I, um, uh, had to call for help because, um, I didn't know what the heck she was going to do, but... We got her in. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm anal now about chaining gates and things like that. Because you never know what's going to happen. But in this case, um, she was right at the gate where I needed to go through. And um, right as I went through with the tractor, I should have had the camera going. She went right on out the gate you don't trust a cow I don't care how experienced you are or how you know oh this will never happen it can always happen in the blink of an eye I was not expecting that but you know what that's why you're always on your toes around animals around cows especially even pigs too what is that is that a piece of wire 
Yeah. I don't know, it sure looks like it. How did that get in a tire? made a hole right there but it's not even a hole it's more like just it just skinned the surface it's a good thing I caught it now rather than later so these paws are topsoil here um, where do they evolved from <laughs> you guys know my take on that I'm being sarcastic <clears throat> where they came from was we had a guy come in and dig the ditch out, dig our cricks out, and uh, we just had to pile the dirt here. We'll bring a wheel loader over in a truck and load it up and screw, uh, screen topsoil. Because that's all that it is, just topsoil. And uh, just dirt, and uh, when mud dries out, it uh, turns into dirt, topsoil. So that is what we will be doing whenever it's dry enough to get a truck in here. But I'm mowing and we're gonna see if uh, we don't have any more screw ups today. I'll admit, seeing that cow get out made my heart race. There ain't nothing like having a cow get out that will make your heart automatically start racing. Because there's no telling where a cow is going to go when it gets out of the, the uh, pasture or the barnyard. Okay, so we're done with this pasture. And that cow is over there. Hopefully she ain't gonna come find me because I don't want her to. Because I wanna get out of here just by myself. I don't wanna have to deal with a cow again. I'm gonna stop here and mow this. Shouldn't be any more than a couple passes, I would imagine, but that all could change. Definitely gets out of hand if you don't keep up with it. But that's why we mow it. So we see, can see what we got. I think that ditch is right there. I think. Looks like it. Especially when you're mowing into stuff that you have no idea what is there. Um, just 
just like this clump of weeds. I have no clue what's there. It looks like nothing. But that's why I backed into it. So I can see what's there. Just like that, I'm gonna go over this way. Realistically, need a mower on a skid loader. Call this thing a brush hog for nothing. this far I need to get myself all turned around and head back the other way or I could just let it alone and get it on my way out from mowing the big pasture when I come out tonight but I'm not gonna do that push that back in a little bit further. Let's make something happen. We're making good time. play over there on that side of the ditch. I'm not sure if that's going to be wet out front there, but we'll go poke around and see if we end up getting stuck or not. I mean, really, it is so dry this year, 2024, that there should be no reason why we should be even thinking about getting stuck. Just about buried it. Can't remember, and if somebody has been subscribed to me for a long time, can you guys tell me if there is a ditch that runs along here? And I guess I will find out the hard way if there is or not. I can't. 100% remember. If there is or not. I don't know. It looks like there might be, but I'm not sure. I, like I said, I don't know. I Stuff changes when it grows like this. And then you go, what the heck? tells me that there's a ditch but I could be wrong still gonna mow with caution because well I just 
that's how I am. I'm not looking to get the thing stuck. Yes, it sucks that this is not a 20 foot mower and I have five foot hanging off each side. I have more like two inches hanging off each side, which makes things a little tricky. Um, and we're just overcoming it the best that we can. Well, that looks better. For a couple months. Brought the first cutting bales home last night. We round bailed. Go beside the house. Just waiting for dad to show up with the truck. Unload and go get more of them. Okay, taking a round baler back home. Then I am to bring the Heston back and get maybe two or three bales to make 18 make a full load because it's unproductive to just come back for a couple bales and yes I'm going to be running corn down but only in the case that I absolutely have to because um well it's what needs to be done to get the baler out of here Maybe we'll run a couple rows over, but like I said, only because I had to. mowing done somebody has to go around and clean up mow under the trees and all that but it's okay because cow pastures don't have to look pretty anybody that thinks differently well feel free to voice your opinion in the comment section because let's just be honest the cows don't care and um you know that those are the only sources of living creatures that look at a cow pasture so that is why cow pastures aren't pretty i need to dump half a bale out so I will just do it in the cow pasture. Oh crud, I think that one cow might. No. Okay. The one cow isn't here. That was here this morning. She just helped herself right on out of here. Right, right on out of that pasture. Like she almost <laughs> knew where she was going.
so that's how you dump half of a bale out of the baler so get everything all picked up we better, better get ourselves out of here before uh, before any cows decide to show up I gotta clean the hay off of that up up there first or second. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, we will shut that guy off. Just like a such, and we'll get ourselves out of here. Let's see. Oh, good deal. You left yourself enough room to get out. Get us out of here, and we will uh, go get our Heston and go move bales. Because that's what you do when uh, you get all done baling hay, round bales or square bales, is you go move bales. One of my more enjoyable jobs to do on the farm. Looks well, just like one bale if I get it yet. I love this time of year. Come out. Yep, just one bale. Oh, I love my house too. It's the perfect size for this job. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you next time.